What's going on my prim peeps? Thank you for checking back in. Uh, this is day five. Uh, I'm gonna use this so that I can use the uh, beveled in on here so that my uh, my drywall screws can lay flush on the uh, lay flush on the side here and not stick out a little bit. So that's why I got these and then I got four uh, casters. They're a three inch swivel caster rated at 125 pounds you can see that and um, these were $3.99 four dollars they actually even have a break on them right and you get these at Lowe's or Home Depot and you're paying five five something and they're like two inch wheels or two and a half inch wheels and they don't even have a break on them so this is overkill but hey for four dollars the ones they had over there at Harbor Freight, they had like the two inch ones with no break and those were like $4.99. So these were on sale for $3.99. I had to get these, um, especially with the break on it. We're gonna open this up and then we'll position you to where you can get a good eye of how we're going to use this step drill bit and uh, see if we can get them flush. I'm going to put this top part into the wood and then I'm going to go halfway into that angled part or that sloped part so that the uh, the head can fit flush. So we're going to try that first and see how that goes. Alright so the first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to take the screw out of this one. I kind of it kind of countersinked it on its own <laughs> I'm gonna go to the very put the entire first one in and then I'm gonna go probably about halfway on this uh, slope here all right here you can see how it created that uh, I, I'm not a carpenter, I can't remember. Sometimes I remember what it's called and sometimes I don't, but it, it sets the screw in there. And that's what you get with that, uh, um, with that step bit. And I'll show you the after here in a second. Flush, straight up flush. I'll see if I can show you the difference. Here is, I don't know if you can kind of tell, but it's kind of sticking out. Kind of like this one right here. You see how that one's kind of sticking out off the top? This is the one we just did. Flush, smooth. This one here. So you can how you see that shadow on this side? It's kind of it's sticking out. So that's basically what that is. That's all that does. All right, so I I did uh, I redid the I took out all the screws. I, I counter sunk them with the step bit so that they can fit flush and uh, they're fitting flush now so I may laminate this side I may laminate this here and then screw it in from the bottom from the inside and uh, maybe make a job card out of it I'm not sure we'll see we'll add on and do some features to it uh, but we're going to just get the bare bones together and uh, so right now I'm going to make another hole and put some more screws in. I'm using a three, 
uh, three thirty seconds um, bit, a drill bit, three thirty seconds to to make pilot holes for these screws right here, number sixes and one and a, one and five eighths inch long. So I'm just gonna go ahead and create a pilot hole. And so now that we created pilot holes, now we're going to use the stepper, create the outer hole uh, big enough for the head of the screw to sink in. We'll see how well that does. That's good enough. But hopefully you can see the depth of that. And uh, while I have it there. There it is. Flush. Alright, that's all that's doing right there. And I think that is well worth the $16. For two of them. So about eight dollars each. So that's not bad. I have this drill on nine uh, strength, and it's perfect, so that it doesn't go all the way and drive it too deep. So nine for this. I don't even know what model this is. It's a Dewalt. Uh, DCD 777 um, so I'm using a 9 to drill that in to 3 quarter inch MDF so let me know do you think 3 is good enough or should I do 2 more and make it 5 I'm not sure I'm going to do 3 for now So we got six on the top here, we've got six on the bottom, we got five going along the side here, and then five going on the other side there. So the next thing we do is we're going to sand it down. Uh, there are some edges that are like not flush so we're going to sand those down make them flush all the uh, all the sides here and then once we sand everything down and make everything flush and flat then we're going to come back and put some uh, wood filler in let it dry and that's it and then we're going to go and use a scrap make a door put the hinges on there and uh, then we'll be good to go we'll be going to be doing that this weekend so we'll be back with that <laughs> 